Hello everyone, and welcome to Pokemon Orange version by Pia Carrot. It's been a long time since we did a Pokemon game, and I think it's about time we started knocking them off because they're not going to stop making them. <laughs> but this is one of the mods that I've really wanted to do. So we've got Pokemon Red Plus Plus up on the channel, some people really seem to like that. And I thought, you know, why don't we take it a little bit further? So I kind of screwed this up by <laughs> starting my save file at 11.30 at night, so I decided to restart. <laughs> I'm setting the time. Uh, let's go for it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. How many minutes? It is 8.30 in the morning. Cheese TV just ended, and you're on your way to school. It's a Saturday. Pleased to meet you. The name's Professor Ivy. I run a lab on Valencia Island. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what'd you say your name was? <laughs> Indigo, Orange, James, Ninten, that's that's actually hilarious. Uh, we're gonna go with, yeah. What I always go with. Shade, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Oh man, big Lapras. Okay, so I started this file before and pretty much immediately restarted. Um, so, yeah. I don't know everything that's going to be a feature in this game or how things are gonna go, or even how big it is. I would assume it's not a full-length Pokemon game, it's a mod, but I could be very wrong, and it's very possible. But, I do know a few things as well, so I'll keep those to myself for now. Did we get a potion? Uh, okay. So I keep looking over at this Lapras and laughing. So, uh, a few years ago, my housemate, uh, it was around their birthday, I think, and I looked on their Amazon wish list, and they had, like, a Snorlax plushie there, so I remembered, uh, I remembered the, uh, do you remember in Pokemon, uh, Silver, Gold, and Crystal, I guess, you could get a giant Snorlax plushie? Yeah, I wanted Maximum Burden, which is really funny, because I live with my housemate now, so it's a burden on me too. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, kinda love it though. A trainer? All kids sleep home someday. It said so on TV. That's where I get all my lessons. You know, I used to be a trainer a long time ago. If you ever get strong, I will gladly battle you. Dude, our mom's gonna beat our ass. That's great. <laughs> There's a movie on TV. Stars in the sky as two kids sail on a raft. I'd better get rolling too. Or otherwise I'll end up in a, on a raft in the middle of the ocean. I hope those kids don't die. Hey Shade, Professor Ivy is smoking, don't you think? Uh, dude. <laughs> Professor Ivy is waiting for you. How do you mean? Sus. Valencia Island. Ivy, Resi Ivy Research South Side of Village. Oh. Oh Shade, nice of you to drop by. I have something for you, so you won't get lost. Ooh, yeah, give us that town map. Thank you! I wonder if there's, like, a run button. Maybe it doesn't work in town. Charity. Hi, Shade! Hey. And Faith. Best of luck on your adventure, Shade. If you'd like, I can change the date and time for you. No. We've been through this. Although, realizing that I could have just changed the date and time. Instead of stopping the recording and restarting. It's a TV! It sure is! Jeez. Observant, this guy. 
Ivy Research number two, baby. Shade, there you are. Today is the day you begin your Pokemon journey. As a Pokemon professor, I'll give you a tool known as the Pokedex. It will record data of Pokemon you meet. I'd like you to take a Pokemon that I've recently caught. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be the, that Pokemon's first partner, Shade. Go on, pick one. I mean, if you caught them, aren't you its first partner? So isn't that an immediate lie? Alright, what do we got? Ah, okay, the three Kanto starters. You'll take Charmander, the fire Pokemon? Nah. You know what? Yep. I think that's a great Pokemon too. Bulb. I personally prefer Charizard, and I also do quite like Squirtle, but for this game, I think this is a good choice. Go to the west end of Valencia to find the port. You can catch a boat there to Tangelo Island. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. One more thing, Shade. Here is your Pokedex. Best of luck. Sweet. Oh, it's Hope. Shade, use these on your Pokedex quest. Oh yeah, boy. To complete the Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Nice. All right, sweet. I guess we're just set straight out the gate. That's nice. Uh, don't like that button placement. I hope we get running shoes if we don't have them. Because this is a slow pace. Route 49. Remember before when I said it might be a short game? That doesn't imply that. <laughs> hey, buddy. Did you know Professor Ivy once saved a Raticate that was poisoned by a vile plume? Whoa! See ya! <laughs> Route 49, okay, yep. The sign I just read. Come on, guys. It's 8.30 in the morning. Haven't even gotten to school yet. Ooh. That is one orange butt having... Wait, is it shiny? Better not be. Because I'm going to be doing something to it later. Uh, Leech Seed Tackle. Now, right now, I'm considering whether or not I want a Caterpie. And I think the answer to that question is no. I was gonna. For a very specific reason, but I'll bring that back up when we get to that reason. I've decided against it for now. Oh yeah, give me them berries. It's the closest thing I've got to a potion. Yeah, Faith wasn't putting that much faith in me. Oh yeah, I guess I should be clicking the button every single tile I frickin' walk on. Yo, that's a cool Pokemon, but be careful. I hear there are some shady characters around. Oh yeah? I'll be careful. <laughs> there they are. Stealth approach. Ooh! Frickin' yoink! Now lob it. Hock it at this person. They're stealthy. No, I'm stealthy. They're shady. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh... I don't think it's shiny. And also it's green there. Oh well, whatever. Hey, I caught a strange Rattata. It has black fur. Well, if... It's a regional variant, it's showing up here, wouldn't that make it not strange? Like, shouldn't you be used to seeing them? I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. Oh yeah. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> it's 
suppose we should try and catch our first Pokemon soon. Parasect. Nah. I mean, we are, we are level 10 already, so I don't really have to grind straight out the gate, so that's nice. Oh, there is a run button. A selectively working run button. Maybe it toggles run. Nope. Interesting. It does kind of make me wonder what we're going to encounter. Ooh, Tangelo Island, we're here! Some people don't like coming out during the day. Same goes for at night. In that sense, people are like Pokemon. It's true. I'm recording this uh, 10 to midnight because, well, it's Australian summer, the arse end. And it's too hot during the day to exist. <laughs> if you want a Pokemon you caught to be healthy, Try a heal ball. Uh, thanks. Give me another one. Heal ball will bring wild Pokemon back to full health. Aw oh, man, come on. Tangelo Island is on the far western side of the Orange Archipelago. Only by boat or by using a strong water Pokemon can you explore it. A strong water Pokemon, eh? There are several islands that have not been explored. Some just aren't habitable. Some are protected so, so wild Pokemon can live freely. Ooh. You don't say. Have we been in here? Hmm, that's a great Pokemon you have there. Taking on the Orange Crew won't be an easy task, though. The Orange Crew? Of all the Orange Crew members, the strongest is Drake of Pumalu Island. See, I vaguely remember, like, remember watching the show as a teenager. I remember Brock having a cry because some woman said no. <laughs> Consent issues, buddy. <laughs> uh, but also, like, I remembered it being, like, this really fun little romp that didn't get really covered by the game. So finding a really good rom hack of the Orange Islands. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, there's a Pokemon here. I mean, a Pokemon Center here, so I don't have to w walk all the way back to heal. This poor Lapras washed up on Route 50s. I saved it. What's that? You're from Valencia? I see. Say, I was on my way there to deliver something to Professor Ivy for a friend. Could you deliver it for me? Ooh, a GS ball. Sweet. Well, might as well do it now. That selective run. It's like it works and then it doesn't. Let's encounter another Pokemon. Come on. What if it's something good? <laughs> it's a Caterpie. My orange Bulbasaur. The worst part about it is I'm kind of into it. I kind of like orange Bulb Bulbasaur. Orange Bulb. Of the Orange Islands crew. So... I vaguely remember the Orange Islands having... They weren't like traditional gyms. They were like... They were like challenges. They had to like do all of these sharpshooting and stuff. I can't remember. It was like... I remember... Crap, what's Horsey's evolution? Well, Horsey's evolution shooting a bunch of water at stuff. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> no, I remember some stuff. I remember... The Remember the Pinkham Islands and stuff like that. Pinkham Berries. This is... Shit, this is an important item. The GS Ball. I don't know what it does, or who even made it. I had it sent to Professor Oak in Pallet Town. It seems he didn't know either. There's a man who could possibly uncover its secrets. His name is Samson. He's Professor Oak's cousin. Samson Oak. Who currently is living on Hamlin Island. Since you're ta taking on the Orange Crew, I'd like to ask you to deliver it to him. I can only count on you. Sweet. Glad we walked all the way back here to be told to go somewhere else. My favorite. 
And that selective run really sucks, dude. I just want to run. Just let me run the whole time. Is it like it lets you run until you hit something and then you gotta wait a bit? Because that also still sucks. <laughs> just let me run. The whole time. The whole time. Because that's what I want. Deep down. Let's encounter one more. Come on. I know we've got to start catching Pokemon. Halfway through an episode, we've caught nothing. Uh, maybe not halfway. Sorry, Bellsprout. I got a Bulbasaur. I am definitely going to uh, do probably the grinding between episodes just to like really cut that down. And then also I can speed it up so it's not so much of a pain in the butt for me to... Uh, this guy. So you delivered it? Is this Tracy? What? You're taking on the orange crew? That's really interesting. Say, why don't we have a battle? I'm kind of strong. Oh crap, I didn't catch anything. Oh crap, it is Tracy. He's probably got Scyther. Oh crap, his Pokemon are stronger than mine. This is not good. Am I gonna learn a lesson real early? That's not good. I don't have... It won't tell me what moves do anymore, I forget. Oh, that's right, I have a fresh water. I'll use that if it gets bad. That was a critical hit? My god, dude, really. And I guess Bulbasaur has a uh, berry as well. Those crits from that stupid little bo stupid little venonat. Sweet, saves me using it. Whatever happens after this, I've got to go catch some Pokemon, dude. Meryl. Oh, buddy. If that was a Scyther, we were screwed. <laughs> I remember Tracy's old Scyther. So I hear in Pokemon Scarlet, because they've added, uh, like, the marks that you can put on Pokemon and stuff now, that either in Scarlet distributions for future Pokemon, or in the next Pokemon entry entirely, they'll be able to put marks on things like Tracy's Scyther. Ashes, Pikachu, that sort of thing. It also adds titles as well. Nice. Saves us grinding. <laughs> Watch a Tracy. Wow, you might have a chance. Say, why don't you take this Lapras? Uh, yeah? It was separated from its family, and it needs a good trainer. Oh, how rude. My name is Tracy Sketchit. What's your name? Was his name always Tracy Sketchit? Tr sketchy Tracy? I'm a watcher. I watch people. Especially when they don't know I'm watching them. <laughs> Jeez. Creepy. Anyway, I must be up. Fire! Uh, do you even want to come with me? It seems eager. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, cool. We got water covered and now we got grass covered. But how strong is this Lapras? There seems to be something floating on the water. Oh boy. I can't believe I'm just holding onto the GS ball. That's pretty funny. Oh, it already knows it. Well, in that case, let's give this other orange berry to. Bulb. Friend Bulb. We haven't fought anybody yet. 
or caught any Pokemon. We've got another Pokemon, but we haven't caught any. This is very weird and different from my normal uh, intro Pokemon experiences. No grinding either, because you just level 10. It's great. Pokemon Center lets you stay the night. Free food too. I love this life. Uh, might want to revise those policies. Ah, uh, these tiny towns are nothing compared to my hometown. Although I guess in a world like Pokemon, if all the countries put towards some level of tax to benefit all trainers around the world, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Southeast of this island is a city called Trevito. Trevito. Trevitopolis. They have a huge shopping center. You can buy TMs, balls, and even Pokemon. But I, you look like the type to like balls. Uh, the AC here feels so good. Jesus, it's the arse end of Australian summer. Don't rub it in my face. I'm recording this up at midnight. Right now it's midnight. On the dot. Oh, this one never to one. Uh, how many? Uh... No, wait. Let's do that. Just in case, you know. Alright. That is really annoying button placement, but alright. Uh, we healed up, we're good to go. Are we? Oh yeah, that's right, we got to surf, because we got the thingy. Alright. Did it say southeast? Or, up oh, Route 50? There's more routes? Oh, maybe it's continuing on from... Yeah, it would be. So this is carrying on from Gen 1, so that's why the last route was 49 and this one's 50. Okay, gotcha. Uh, hmm. What do we got around here? Let's catch some stuff, actually, huh? Let's not catch that. <laughs> Seriously, let's not. Hey, taking on the Orange Crew Challenge. No way a complete newbie like you has a chance. Oh my god, this youngster named Mo is gonna come over and show me how great two knives are. Spiro. Oh, that's not very good. Let's just get the leech, leech seed out and we can switch over to... Oh, it failed. What a pity. Oh, the Lapras is level 10. I did actually forget to check that. I meant to. What is with this <laughs> inaccurate Spiro? Okay, so... Surf. Sing. Whoa, that's gonna be good. I might make uh, Lapras my main. <laughs> At least for now, you know. It's a shame they never gave it an evolution. It should be a three stage by now. Should have given it a baby version. It's just too good of a Pokemon to have just left like that. Alright, Sneckens. I really hope that we can turn our Pokemon pink. With pink and berries. That would be freaking cool. If I do, if we get the opportunity to do that, I'm gonna do my whole team. I'm telling you now. Which means I'm gonna have to stick with them. Unless you can get as many as you like. <laughs> Who knows? I'm the weakling? Yeah, dude. And now... I'm gonna rub you. <laughs> A cherry berry. Um, alright. A rock rough. You know, I love Rockruff. 
but I just shiny farmed all but the day the the dusk version, and I've been at it for a long time. No, sorry, Rockruff, you're not on the team, buddy. Probably need as much as that as I can get. A wingo. Nah. We are eventually going to catch a bunch of stuff, but I know better than to waste it all here. You're a Pokemon trainer? You don't look so tough. What is with these little children in shorts talking crap? Look at my dude all deep in thought. <laughs> I guess I should have sang. Actually, I don't want to start next to battle in sleepy times. Come on! Whack up! No, two more of my HPs! Seriously, Lapras, wake up. That's like three turns now. Having any of more of your BS, Poliwag. Pretty sure I've got a tackle, then I have no growl water gun. So if it is, really one turn instant hypnosis didn't affect me. That's some BS. Classic Pokemon games were brutal, dude. They don't they just did not care. <laughs> It'd be like Unless you had a status abnormality on your, uh, on your Articuno or whatever. The Pokeballs aren't even hitting it. <laughs> Alright, Pidgey. Uh, no. I know we're pretty much at time, but I want to get a bit more done in this episode. It's the first episode. Also, yeah, so I mentioned earlier, we've done Pokemon Red++ Plus Plus on the channel, people liked that. I was meant to keep doing Pokemon series, but, like, a lot of health issues got in the way. Um, but I'm coming back strong, you know, so after Orange Islands, I'm probably going to follow it with Polished Silver. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then maybe we'll start doing some of the other ones. No stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokemon. Hmm. It's kind of weird that they have to remind you that uh, you can't do a thing that the mechanics don't allow you to do. Maybe they should have added a karma system and just let you steal people's Pokemon and made the people hate you and come for you like headhunters in Fallout if you kill the kid. You can cross Route 51 to enter the Tangela jungle. I bet I could. Oh, if I go on water. Damn, he swims fast. Oh, hey, dude. Tangelo Jungle is pretty hard to get through. It's full of tricky paths and Pokemon. Oh, yeah? What Pokemans can I get on this? Uh... 
Go away, hop it. Oh. Well, you know what? Ow. That wasn't very nice, Growlithe. Oh my god, did you see that crap? Oh my god. It booted me out of the battle. Oh my god. Oh! Uh... Huh. Is that supposed to be like an Alolan Geo dude with the pointies? I think it is. Hey dude, what's your problem? My B drill is sure to beat you. Well. <laughs> That's not what I meant to click. In fact. Go and then back to Lapras. I'll be taking that health back, thank you very much. Really? So, what you're trying to tell me is if I sing to a wasp, it won't go to sleep? Sleepy, sleepy bee drill. I would have been so mad if it woke up after a single round after enduring so damn many. Sorry, Sam. Beedrill! <laughs> Let's murder some kid's pet. And away I go. <laughs> oh, of all the rotten luck, you can't go to Mikan Island unless you go through the jungle. There are a lot of trainers that are swimming in the ocean. A Pokemon Center is on the other side of the jungle. Hmm. Hi there! Be careful in Tangelo Jungle! Do I really want to go in a jungle? I kind of want that Growlithe. But also, I feel like... Yeah, that's right. I thought I could go this way. Never mind. The wall is very rocky. A Pokemon's move will scale it? Oh. They put Rock Climb back in. That's cool. I liked Rock Climb. Heh <laughs> 
We still have that starting, like, two Pokemon that we've had for ages. I Maybe I should just go into the jungle. I'm going to the jungle. I'm doing it. I'm over it. We're going in the damn jungle. Warning. Wild Pokemon are very dangerous. I don't know if they are. Ugh. Ooh, a picky pack. Please don't kill it, please don't kill it, please don't kill it. Good. Uh, kill ball. Nice. There we go. I wasn't originally going to catch it, and then I had an image in my head. It can peck up to 16 times a second to drill holes in trees. It uses the holes for food storage and nesting. Hmm. Well, we finally got a third Pokemon. So we got our flying type. Aw, oh, man, really? Eat him, Bulbasaur! <laughs> Eat him! <laughs> well, Pikachu got the last laugh. Oh wait, no he didn't. Because now, he's just food. There's just a, a little Pikachu skeleton inside the back of Bulbasaur's bulb. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Um, paralysis. So it looks like they're gonna put all of the re the Alolan variants in at least. I wouldn't expect too much more recent than that. I was I'm actually surprised that they're in it. I would have thought this would have been like a. 10-year-old hack or something. This is the part where I get upset and realize that, yeah, it has been 10 years since Sun and Moon came out. <laughs> 3DS was a long time ago now, and it sucks. I think the worst thing about finding these metapods, right, is I can just do this. Right. And I can just do that. Actually, you know what? When I come across these metapods, this is my strap. Drop that leech seed down. Pull that whatever needs leveling up. And in this case, Picky Pack, with its flying type, is going to shred through. Even with Harden. But just in case it did hurt, that leech seed is just too good. I have a half a level though, that's not bad. Hey dude, do you know like... Oh no, I've got lost. It's my fault, really. I was trying to catch a, po a Pikachu. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't show him, Bulbasaur. Oh man, I really like Beedrill. Pokemon Company desperately needs to buff him. And, uh, and Butterfree. 
Pretty much like the first couple of gens of bug types, because bug types aren't shit anymore. There used to be this thing where it'd be like, ah, oh, because bugs evolve so much, they, uh, they get strong really fast, and then later they're weak. And they're so weak, like, bottom tier weak. So, like, then you've got Mega Beedrill and Gigantamax Butterfree, and that kind of makes up for that, except they're single generation gimmicks. Hmm, you aren't a Butterfree? No. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Well. I'm gonna laugh if our Bulbasaur evolves episode one. <laughs> I know it started at level 10, but, like, evolving your starter level 1 is a bit ridiculous in the first episode. Picky pack! No! Critically wrapped. That better not be a crit for every ra Okay, good. I was gonna say. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. That was dumb. You're gonna die now. <laughs> I'm talking to the kid, not the Pokemon. <laughs> Can't believe you hurt my little bird, dude. Well, I was trying to hurt your pets. <laughs> Just imagine people getting, like, upset. Like, super personal. Because, like, in real life, when someone's pet messes up your pet for no freaking reason, you're like, what the hell? We will get rid of... Growl. Oh! Yep. Sorry, Alan. I want a Butterfree! Well, see ya. <laughs> hmm. I wonder when we're gonna get the cut TM. HM, sorry. I'm a bug collector. I will own them all. Every single bug. Alright, Weevil Underwood. Let's see what you're packing. Is it a bunch of, perhaps, Caterfree, Caterpree and... Caterpie and frickin'... Oh god, I can't even remember the other one now. What is it? Kakuna, Beedrill, Weedle? Caterpies and Weedles, that's what I'm expecting. This would have been a real good fight for Picky Pack. Shame about uh, that inopportune death, huh? It's an extra shame that the Pokemon Center is at the end of the jungle. There's no going back. I mean, there is. It'd be annoying, though. Hey, Lapras, can you drown this caterpillar <laughs> in particular? Man, Pokemon is kind of messed up when you think about it. Setting off volcanoes, hitting things with time moves. Alright, you're all bugs. Oh yeah, a Venonat. I was expecting a Weedle. You know, it always bothered me, because Venonat looks like it's supposed to evolve into Butterfree. And Caterpie, if you recolor that, that looks like it would evolve into Venomoth. Bug catcher Alex is about to use Weedle. There's the Weedles. Um, nah. Just wash them all away.
And a Paris. I mean, to be fair, this kid did say he wanted to catch all of the bugs, and he did have four different bugs this early. So I say grats, kid. You know what, I take that back. Because I just used my only paralysis heal, you little jerk. Alright, his Pokemon are defeated. Here he comes. Lapras, use Surf Attack! <laughs> Total victory. <laughs> Man, Pokemon could be such a dark, dark thing. Look at this idiot. Actually. Whoops. So, uh, I was try I was trying to go into my menu. <laughs> huh? Who's the weakling in my way here? Shade, never heard of you. Well, since I'm already here, I guess I'll introduce myself. Cross. I am the one who will be the ultimate trainer, using strength alone. Allow me to demonstrate. Because that was so obviously going to happen. Ooh, I like the cut of his style. Really, you're just going to drop out a freaking Charmander out the gates on my... A level... Oh, okay. That's how we're going to play this, is it? Shame that failed! Oh no! It's a shame I can't get burned because I'm paralyzed. Man, if only you could not stack ailments IRL. Oh man, Bulbasaur that does evolve on the first episode. <laughs> That is pretty funny. I mean, I guess we'll just keep going. Should I have caught the rock rough? No. I think I have a vague idea of some things I want to do. I don't know if I want to have a rock team member. Especially after Scarlet and Violet, with my Garganacle. Eevee, eh? Well, you know what? I think Bulbasaur can handle a stinky, stinky Eevee. Oh no. My accuracy. It's a shame that you couldn't get that sand attack off twice before I hit you with two ailments at once that sap your health. Oh dear. Well. Get him. <laughs> That is actually pretty funny. Aw, oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thought that was going to be another round because I already forgot. That's really funny. That was just a fluke. Nice. Wow. Maybe we should just do the full hour. Huh. Don't think you've won. I'll be back stronger than you can handle. Remember this, Shade. I've forgotten your name already, person I literally just met. This jungle is so great, so many bug-type Pokemon. Oh crap. I should've healed up. Crap. Oh, that's not bad. I had a feeling. Oh. Why was that not super effective? Is it because of the poison? Hmm. 
<laughs> it is a pretty good setup, to be fair. Oh no! Bulbasaur's orange bulb is gone! Ah, oh, that's sad. I only just realized. Really trying to have a go, huh? Yeah, I was gonna go Charmander, but I always go Charmander. Then I was gonna go Squirtle, because I do quite like Squirtle. But then I was like, nah. The very first Pokemon game I ever played, I chose Bulbasaur. Because that's what the Nintendo magazine said I should. <laughs> that's true. Ooh. It's not looking good. Well does not affect. This is a problem. So let me get this right. I cannot leech seed a Paris, but a Paris can stun Spore a Bulbasaur. Ain't that some BS. Jeez, how freaking... See what I mean about the super old Pokemon games? Sometimes, like... It's like dice rolls in a Warhammer game. You'll get hit by every one of those five hit attacks, and you will sleep for maximum turns. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I'm really glad that, like, in a way, it was a bit hand heldy for a bit in Pokemon, but I feel like it's going back a little bit more the other way. I mostly blame Sh Sword and Shield for that. In saying that, Scarlet and Violet still runs like dog shit. I'll just say it. I think when I play that, I might mod that so it doesn't. <laughs> That'll be nice. Huh? I lost. Why aren't you paying attention, bro? Of course you lost. This feels like a terrible idea. I should go and save it, shouldn't I? And heal my Pokemon. <gasps> I'm going to catch this thing because I want a shark. I probably shouldn't have used the move that's definitely going to one-shot it. have such a strong water team with all these extra because like that's technically my first psychic <coughs> oh excuse me that paralysis really sucks it's so bad getting all these ethers that I don't need uh Oh yeah, it's because I'm in the uh, jungle that even regular tiles count as tall grass. Really, I'm going to have my butt handed to me by a stupid level 8 Weedle? Get out of here. Come on, stop with the crap. Ooh, here's our chance. Level six. You know what? I don't care. 
I'm doing this method. Because I want Bite and later Crunch. That's going to be my Psychic, Ghost, and... I forget what Dark is strong against. Is it just Psychic and Ghost? Either way. That's going to make those things not a problem anymore. I know we've already got Lapras to cover. But I don't know. I kind of want a Shark. It sure would be cool if it would go in the frickin' ball. Alright, idiot. What do you mean it didn't affect it? Say it missed, or don't lie to me? <laughs> Look at this! A level 6 Pokemon will beat your ass just for being paralyzed. Oh my god, dude. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Have it your way, you little jerk. Oh yeah, he's dead. Now that he's lost even one health. Oh my god, dude. Water gun nearly killed it. Just get in the ball and leave me alone, you little jerk. Oh my god. It'll all make sense later. How does it not affect it? Why? It's a shark. It's a water type. With dark. That doesn't make it immune to sleep. My god, dude. That was... Quite the little fight. Just to catch this idiot. Kavana, savage. It lives in expansive rivers that course through jungles. It swarms prey that enter its territory. Sweet. I can't wait to train up. Uh, whoa. Oh. I can't wait to train that up between episodes. Dude, no. Just run. Can't escape. Can't escape. Can't escape. Come on, dude. You're level 8. Pokemon used to be so annoying. Oh, I see what this is. This is how you get back down to the beginning of the jungle. Okay, cool. I can't remember if we went over to the right, but right now... We're really late into an episode, and I am dying, so let's go to this Pokemon Center. And I guess I'll do some grinding between episodes. There are a lot of trainers on Route 52. They are all training to face Sissy of the Orange Crew. Ooh, that's coming up, I guess. This Pikachu I caught in the Tangelo jungle is amazing. Thundershock is a great move against water-type Pokemon. Okay. Nice. All right. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to call that an episode there. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And until the next episode of Pokemon Orange Edition, you've been watching me, Shade Orion, on Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone.